hello hi welcome back i have not filmed in a hot minute i have not filmed in a minute i mean for you it probably won't be a minute because like i've done some and i've just not posted them because i've not edited them so i was like yeah but for me it's been like over maybe like over a week and i've not filmed so it felt good today and i and I did this banging look, so I can't really complain. One of my favourite looks. Can you just see the spotlight? I know you are shit! Like, ah, oh. It just looks so nice. I mean, allow the wig. She's back. She's probably going to be here to stay until I can get my hair sorted out because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <sighs> I'll probably wait till next payday. Next payday, I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to go into town, get my hair done. Hopefully... It was thick. I think it was just like my hair grew so much and it was so thick that they just itched. Well, even if I add heat to it, within literally like an hour, it's just not even straight anymore. But I digress. But look at the look. Oh, I'm even, I love the outfit. Like, I, I was going about the look, but the outfit also, it's just that. Oh, it's just like like if, if i had a casual like i have different looks but if i was having like a casual look this would be one of them honestly like if you want to say if you're going to like uni for example you want to be casual but you still want to look cute this look will actually give you that it's, you don't even have to think about it the top you can get in so many colors a pair of different like different style jeans different color jeans you could do a mom style jean you could do say like a regular um slim um black style jean um anything you could do like a denim skirt like tops like this and just mix and matching jeans and you'll actually be good like this look is that casual glam kind of vibe but you could also dress it up if needs be and i'll explain that in the video so watch all the way to the end all the way and then i'll give you a few tips on how to make this look better or a different style if you wanted to say go out, out like for a night out like how i would maybe change the look but then keep the same makeup do you know what i mean so yeah um let's just get straight into the video because the look is bomb she's bomb she's beautiful the girl's gonna go take some pictures so let's just get straight into the video so hi welcome back so today oh my gosh we're doing this i forgot what it's called spotlight can you imagine? I forgot the name. But oh, even in the monitor, it's looking so good. Okay, so I've already primed with the Peter Wade number Trez Trez palette. It's drugstore, meaning it's affordable, and it is by Revolution. Can I? Can you? Maybe this way. There we go. I know you're that Look, I've shined. Oh, you can see the mess. Let's back it up. Oh, you see the wigs. Let's just do it like this. But yeah, from Revolution, and it's in collaboration with Solf. And it's the Extra Spice palette. There's 18 shades in here. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I have a feeling it was under a tenner. Maybe a tenner, maybe just under. I don't know. But that's what it's looking like in here. And again, you see the wig. Hold on. There you go. It's beautiful. So first, I'm taking my Morphe Time Track Clean JH3 Free Brush. And we're using a few colours today. So I'm taking Running Late, Sweet and Sour, and Chocolate Orange. So literally in that order. So that one's the Running Late. Underneath it, Sweet and Sour. And then underneath that is the Chocolate Orange. And then we're just going to use them three shades to bend initially into the crease. And also, if you have hooded eyes and don't have much this space, but you have a lot of this space here, blend it to the brow bone. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get equal amounts, tap into all three. There is a bit of fallout with the palette, so if you don't like fallout, you probably won't like the palette. But the pigmentation listen some high-end expensive 
products don't even perform as well as some of the drugstore like when you dibble dabble high end ain't all that sometimes sometimes and with this palette it is just you can't complain like Revol everyone knows about revolution so and if you don't know get to know but revolution nyx maybelline there are some good affordable products out there okay so we've blended that out nicely then i'm going to take the was it this one yes the morphe e17 brush and then we're going to go into the shade 21 this gorgeous red shade and i've just realized this was like one of the palettes i used in my ever first tutorial and i've always said i was gonna go back into it and i just never have i just never have like i just buy new stuff and i forget about other stuff but we're truly using this palette today this is the only palette we're using today and it's affordable but yeah so nostalgia i used this with another palette i can't remember i think it was nyx to do i'll probably link it someplace maybe here somewhere but um yeah so we're gonna go into the shade 21 and then this is gonna go lower down into the crease but still blending all the way in so i use it just gonna pull it wherever your crease is and just see how it's just deepening it slightly and that's all we want and then we're gonna add a brown shade to deepen just the outer corners but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so we're just gonna add in this and then go back into the other brush just to blend it out so there's no harsh edge no harsh line so yeah <laughs> we are going in two brownies and cheesecake which is this one that shade there is brownies and this shade here is cheesecake and that's what's going to deepen up the inner and outer corner um this brush doesn't have a name but it's just like a standard pencil brush um just take whatever you have at home more so go into cheesecake because brownies is really cool toned and i don't want it to be like muddy i want it to be deeper but just not muddy so go into cheesecake more but still add the brownies and then we're just going to deepen it next what you're going to do is whatever you use to um, apply your concealer your eyeshadow base primer whatever um you don't need much of it i just use because i use obviously the p louise base when i um primed my eyelid i'm using the same brush and then i'm literally just gonna pat it i don't want to bring it all the way up i'm gonna bring it to the eyelid about there Okay, and then I'm going to take a flat brush and we're going to go into Infinity, which is a gorgeous shade right here. It looks it's kind of dirty. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's actually gorgeous. It's really, really nice. And that's what we're going to put on top. I'm just going to get this. Place it down. you'll see mm -hmm -hmm. i know you'll see that and then you're literally just going to clean up the edges so use your um go back into brownies and cheesecake go back into the red if you need to blend out the go back to the first transition shades where we added all three you know perfect it how you want it to be so i'm gonna first take in brownies and cheesecake and just Get rid of that line of demarcation and i went too far this side so we gotta clean that
all right i'm up there next we're going to do a baby wing when i say baby i mean baby wing um because i did put the lashes on and at first i was like i don't want to do a wing but something was just missing and a little wing it just it made it come together it just made it look so nice um if you can't do a wing um just line the lash line or if you if you're not comfortable with felt tip maybe try it with the shadow you can maybe go back into brownies yeah it's called brownies i thought it was brownie brownies and then do your wing that way but i'm going to use a wing i'm going to use black you could use maybe like a dark brown but i really want it to like contrast and not so much blend into the shadows so i'm going to take this one which is almost finished i need to get a new one it's a tutu liner from Kat Von D. it's the i'm sure it's trooper black i'm sure that's the shade but yeah so we're actually gonna do like a baby wing also i'm gonna clean it up on this side and don't worry but i like to do that with concealer and makeup wipes so i'll do this eye and then we shall move on to the skin I'll use some eye cream let's use a bit of eye cream before i <gasps> my gosh my eye cream has spilled out everywhere get back in you're too expensive i'm just using the origin ginseng eye cream to pumps of the two face burn this way okay 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 so, I think we use two products from Shark Tilby. I'm going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And this one is in the shade. I'm sure it's tan. Is it tan? I wish I put the name somewhere easy where you can find it. Dark Tan, number six. And it is quite dark, to be fair. And then for foundation, put you there. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Stay all day and night. Apparently, let's see if it actually does. This is in the shade Turn Warm. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer. Oh, no. I mean, I said I was going with um, the Boy Concealer, but I literally just saw the Joy one and I'm like, Do you know what? I want to use it. Um, this is in the shade Dulce de Leche. Um, it's a beautiful shade. It's nice and thick. She's real thick. And, oh yes. What am I going to take? Okay. I'm going to take the Fit Me Powder in Translucent to set the skin. And then I'm also then going to bake with my Fenty powder. This is in the banana shade. It's the pore filter setting powder. Everyone knows this. Mine is looking beat up. So messy. I use it all the time. So, yeah. Let's just do that. fluffy brush i'm just gonna take this one and i'm gonna go into chocolate orange and cheesecake i think and then run that underneath that, oh yeah that's nice i'm then gonna take my morphe m432 brush and I'm going to go into Enchanted. 
which is like this dark brown purpley kind of shade it's very very nice should I go on with that and I think I'll go on that and a bit of brownies as well we'll take enchanted and brownies I'm going to run that close to the lash line add a bit of eyeliner no surprise i'm just gonna go look how small this is i tried okay i'm gonna go take my charlotte tilbury powder in number three just to set the rest of the face I think I'm going to take my NYX bronzer in the shade Deep Tan and for blush what kind of blush do I want I think yeah and then I'll take the Wet n Wild Colour Iconic blush in the shade Mellow Wine so a blush, a uh, bronzer, blush and then we can get on to the headache. Set the skin. I'm going to use the Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Face Mist. I don't have much of this. Please don't spit at me. Okay, I think we'll be good. Protect it. I went in my eye. Mm. Let's try this again. Okay, for my highlight, I'm gonna go back in with this one. This is really, really good. It's the Lottie London Times Imagination Highlight. It's the Ultra Glow in the shade Loyalty. And then for my lashes, I'm gonna go into the Tati Lashes. These are the 3D Brazilian Hair Lashes in the style, here we go, TL23. Okay, this is with the lashes on. Oh, is it looking so good? It's looking so good. Like, you can't look at that. You can't just deny it. looks good. Okay. What are we going to do for the lips? I feel like a nude. Shall I go do a nude? Shall I do. I feel like a nude will go best with this. Hmm. Don't think I want matte. I think I want maybe like a lip stew. Let's see what I got. On a momento. Okay. For lips, what I'm thinking is I'm going to take the Morphe Lip Liners in the shade Bar and Sweet Tea to give a bit of an ombre for the lip line. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in Beige Babe. Hopefully this will look good. Maybe I'll throw on a glass. Who knows? But let's just try this first. I have to look at the eyes. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh, you can see. Look at that. Do you all see? I mean, come on. But yeah, let's do that. And then hopefully tie this looking together. Then I'll get changed. Don't know what I'm going to do for the outfit or hair. That's going to be fun for me. So let's do that and then we can continue with the video. Oh, 
I don't know if I should add a glass. I don't know how it's looking in person. In the moment, it looks a bit weird, but in person, it looks it looks really nice. So it's that kind of like purpley, it's like purple, you know, wow, that brown, nude, beige kind of colour, and I'm actually really liking it. I feel like recently I've been doing a few glasses so I may just leave it because I'm really liking it I don't want to take away from anything yeah this is the look so I'll get changed do my hair and we'll continue with the video welcome back so what'd y'all think and guess who is back yes the wig I could not bother doing my own hair today it needs to get done again like can you imagine what her day this oh the outfit is even like 90s vibes like there's that chill relaxed style and then the eyes are just speaking to me i just love this look together obviously like if i probably if i was gonna actually properly style the hair like i allow it i like i know it's a mess but i'm not gonna do it but i'll probably either crimp it properly like fully crimp it or i'll do loose curls in it i feel like that would be that would have been a cute vibe that's how i would have done it but the outfit the top is from i saw it first size medium it's just a like cropped top if you can see get a bit closer like yeah you can see the detailing here just your standard jumper it's got the same details here like you can see there good thickness nothing too too thick but it's not really um like really really thin so you could definitely wear this when the weather gets when the weather when the weather gets um warmer i mean the jeans are just from primark size 16 it's the more style jeans and I did size up in these because I did want it to be that more relaxed look. That's why, hence, there's more space. And at the back, you definitely can tell, like, with the waist part. If I got the 14, it would have fit perfectly, but I did want that oversized look. And these jeans give it to me. Like, I love these jeans for this look. Like, it's just really nice. Like, if these jeans ever get ruined, I'm actually going to cry. I'm actually going to cry because... Unless they still make them, unless they still have this style, but if they don't, I'm actually going to be so upset because what are my favourite style jeans? Like this and the PLT shape size 12. My favourite jean. Like when I went to uni, this was literally, the style jeans what I wore like maybe two days out of the week and it was just nice for two days I knew. Put on these jeans, put a nice, either like a crop top or like an oversized t-shirt and I'm actually done. The outfit is completed. It's just a nice relaxed look. Um, very comfortable. I just think everything just complements each other. Um, accessories. Literally forgot about them. I literally only just saw them because they're staring at me right over there. But for me, I would do a necklace because the neckline of this top is really nice. It kind of like scoops down a little bit. I'll probably not wear earrings because sometimes relax with the earrings and I'll probably just do a nice necklace like a gold necklace to be honest um could be anything or any gold necklace that you have that's your favorite or whatever I think it'll look really nice with this or you could do say studs or hoop earrings um but for me I'll just pair it with like a gold necklace and then shoes depending on where you're going depends on the shoe if I wanted this to be daytime but more dressed up, but, but yeah, um, if I was going out but it was more, not out out but you were going to like a nice place, you were meeting friends for maybe like a nice little, um, a nice meal, I will probably wear boots with this, maybe black boots, maybe even say like a tan or like a brown kind of, like a boot, that would be nice. If it was like casual, casual, like you're literally just running errands, going for coffee, whatever. I'd probably wear white trainers with this, to be honest. Daytime, kind of, you're going to go for coffee maybe. You're maybe going to go to the cinema. Maybe going to go 
do what it do but yeah it's really cute and i hope you guys like it so that is everything hope you've enjoyed today hope you like the look i love this look i say it after every freaking look oh but this is one of my favorite looks like i'm so i, I don't i need to go somewhere I think I'm actually gonna go somewhere. I even had like a coat that I could have worn with it. Like, let me see, it's right here. Ooh. If you've seen one of my hauls, I think it was my second haul. Can you see? It's a bit kind of big. But do you know that white fluffy coat? Like, I'll, I'll insert the clip if I remember. Put you there. But honestly, if I was gonna go out and it was cold, that fluffy coat would be coming with me. And it's all cream blends nicely it just looks so good like i'm gonna be recreating this look like it's a look i i just listen play with makeup okay since we're in quarantine and lockdown whatever just play with styles because i would have never have done this ever in my like if it wasn't like neutrals just browns and just yeah i wasn't interested but this look and a spotlight eye like me and Spotlight Eyes, oh, we're becoming close friends. Like, we're really becoming close friends because this look is just stunning. Ow, why is that? Oh, this tag. But, yeah. I like this look. I hope you guys like it. I'll be taking pictures on Instagram, so follow me on there. Um, like, comment, subscribe to all of that. And hopefully I can recreate some more looks like this. Drop a comment if you like what kind of looks you would like to see. Would you like to see more going out looks, more casual, like uni vibes, um, meeting up with friends type of looks, or do you want a mixture of them all? Let me know what y'all want to see. I mean, probably not that many subscribers. I haven't even checked in a minute. Probably only 10, maybe. I don't know but if you have liked me and you've subscribed just drop a nice comment what you want to see next um yeah <clears throat> wow my voice is actually going wow um but yeah let's just end the video here and then i guess i will just see you guys in the next one